Hello, my name is Dana and I am recording this for an interview for Amazing Talker. Um, I want to talk about myself. I'm a native um, British, I'm a British citizen, but currently I'm in Turkey and I'm working as a English teacher in a private school. Uh, I've been doing teaching for more than about seven years now. Uh, my journey first started when I was in university as my professor's assistant when I was in year two. <coughs> and uh, while, just before graduating, my uh, professor said, why don't you get the CELTA mm -hmm. course? Um, it will be great for you to do this if you don't like uh, your field, which my field, my profession is digital media production uh, that I graduated from, uh, Oxford Brookes University in the UK. And while I, after I done my CELTA, I actually did like teaching. Uh, I was teaching in university, as I said, as an assistant, and I was doing the media side of it. Uh, after I came to Turkey with my CELTA certificate, and because I found teaching fun as well, I wanted to stay in this field rather than media. And I first started off in kindergarten for a few months, just about six months, and it was a nice, uh, experience for me but I then moved on to primary and secondary which I enjoyed more and I first started as a native teacher so I had uh, every class once and it was a bit tiring but I loved it and now that I'm in my school this is my second year in my school that I'm working in now I've got my own two classes in grade four and I'm doing their readings. Alongside, I do native teaching in secondary, which again, I see them once a week, but it is great. Um, I, uh, as I do teaching in my school, I also do private tutoring outside of school, which I have students. Um, and I, it, my age uh, differs between seven years old up to 25 26 i've done adult teaching as well and this was for a company as they wanted to improve their business english and because they were planning to um, travel outside turkey and they needed english i helped them with that as well i've done translations um before for my school especially and for different companies uh, to help them out um I've got university students uh, still in media mm -hmm. and I help them out alongside. Uh, I, I just love teaching. I love seeing people um, progress their English. I love seeing them, how they develop themselves in English, especially my students. I have different types of students, obviously. Uh, so, so some of my students, they love English, but some of my students, they don't like English. They've got some problems against English. They so, Some of them don't like the vocabulary. Some of them don't like the grammar. Uh, some of them don't like reading, but I think I have overcome this in um, doing different types of teaching methods. And that's what I think. Um, to come to the creative side of teaching, I do lesson plans for my school, and I've been doing this for two years now. I do my speaking uh, lesson plans, and this goes to all the campuses. Uh, my school currently has about five or six campuses, and alongside it has so many kindergartens as well. Uh, my so I do their uh, I do their lesson plans. I send it over to campuses. I use different tools in this. I love doing lesson plans. I enjoy it myself. And while I'm doing my lesson plans, if I enjoy it myself, I know my students will enjoy it. If I get bored, I know my students will get bored. So I always try to do different things in these lesson plans so we can all have fun. Uh, because I down to me as the other lessons are a bit boring I think they should enjoy themselves in English when I come back to my reading classes in grade four I just wanted to mention that my classes are gifted ones because my campus is for gifted students mainly 
and that we do have normal student classes as well but my two year uh, two year groups in year four which I do their reading lessons and we have like about six hours per week in English uh, they are the gifted ones so I do work with gifted children too and gifted children are harder to handle than normal students because after 10 minutes they've they're gone, they're gone. They buzz out, they get bored. So to always keep them in the lesson, I always come up with different ideas straight on spot. Do play different games. These games can be online, it can be around in the class. Uh, they love getting up on feet, especially. So always up on feet, doing something. And I think I'm really, really successful in this field and i just love teaching so that's why i really wanted to apply for amazing talker and see what i can get out of it and i will be very very happy if i can work with you guys uh just to say on my online uh, i do have online tutors as well uh tutorings and on in online i tend to use objects with me to explain uh, body language, I always use it, drama techniques, always works, and loads of loads of online tools is a great idea to use. Thank you very much for listening to me, I hope you find this video uh, good for the interview, if not I would love you to contact me so I can do another video for you guys, thank you very much, see you.